Dr. Claire from Rocket Health and I'm here to talk to you about menstruation and menstrual disorders. Uh, so menstruation is basically uh, the normal cycle that happens for women monthly. Monthly the body tries to create a pregnancy but if fertilization doesn't happen we'll have bleeding. Um, menstruation basically happens for children from the age of 10 um, to about 13 years. If menstruation doesn't occur at 16 years, by 16 years we, con we call that an error and that is when we would have a diagnosis of a menstrual disorder. Um, menstruation can stop at the age of 50 or 40 years and that is what we call menopause. About the menstrual cycle, um, day one is the first day you see the blood. So whenever your doctor asks you about your last menstrual period, that's the day that you're supposed to mention. So day one is the first day of your cycle and the period basically goes for four to five days, some people six days. Um, the maximum that we normally see is seven days. So between day six and day 10, these are known as safe days. Safe days basically stand for that um, if you have sex during this time, there's an it's basically unlikely that you will have a child or you'll have an embryo being formed. So from day 10 to day 14 and day 16, these are the, known as the fertile times. And if in, in case you're interested in conception, this is the time that you can have a child. Day 14 is the day the ovum is released into the tubes so that you can have fertilization and you will, you will have a baby then. So the normal menstrual cycle is about 21 to 35 days. Anything beyond that or less than that is termed as a disorder. Um, I'll start with one of the most common menstrual disorders that we have, which is called dysmenorrhea for the doctors. And um, for the rest of us, menstrual dysmenorrhea is known as cramps or um, painful periods. And this is basically caused by um, hormones called prostaglandins. These hormones can cause the excessive contraction of the uterus, which you feel as cramps and the pain. This is basically treated by painkillers or for the doctor sometimes we give antiprostaglandins which will help to reduce that pain. So we have uh, menstrual disorders like menometorrhagia or metorrhagia. This is known as intermenstrual bleeding. So intermenstrual bleeding basically occurs if, uh, if you notice that you end up bleeding be before the next cycle. So the cycles are typically 28 days in most people. So metorrhagia is basically um, noticed in cases where we're using hormones like progestin only hormones. Um, these are commonly used by the doctors and this is when you'll notice it. And then also um, in fibroids, polyps, in cancers that you'll notice that the person has a lot of bleeding within the cycle. The other menstrual disorder that you might notice is menorrhagia. Menorrhagia is also known as heavy menstrual bleeding. This might be in conditions like uh, fibroids. Also cancers can cause such bleeding. Um, use of um, some hormonal therapies could also cause that. The best way that we treat it is, for, is by using combined oral contraceptives known as COCs. These have both the hormones, estrogen and progesterone. So this could help to stop that bleeding. But of course, before you start this medication, you need to talk to your doctor so that they can give you the recommendation for this. So the other menstrual disorders could be um, hypomenorrhea. Hypomenorrhea is also known as scanty bleeding. You'll notice that maybe in, a, in your cycle or during your periods, you might have um, minimal amount of blood coming out. This could happen if there's an obstruction in the hymen, in case there's any obstruction within the uterus. Also, there's a condition known as Asherman syndrome, where the uterine walls come together due to some wounds that may be in the uterus following an, op an operation that is done. Uh, we also have polymenorrhea. Polymenorrhea is known as um, frequent periods, like um, if the period, if the cycle is less than 21 days, remember I had mentioned the cycle times, and so if the cycle is less than 21 days, 
you'll notice that uh, you have the period occurring more often than normal. This could be caused by fibroids, it could be caused by hormonal therapies as well. So all these things need you to do some imaging. Imaging is basically an ultrasound which looks out for um, whichever pathology or um, error that might be in the uterus that could cause such uh, errors with the bleeding. There's also something called amenorrhea. Amenorrhea is basically not bleeding. So um, this is when commonly known as missing the period. So for missing a period that is secondary amenorrhea, um, this can occur in pregnancy, it can occur in any other obstruction of the uterus. So this one you'd have to do an investigation of course to rule out pregnancy. Um, this could be secondary amenorrhea. Then in primary amenorrhea, um, primary is basically you've never had a period before and it has never it hasn't occurred so this is in the case of 16 year olds that have not had have not seen any blood so in this case it could be a malarian duct um, system error so this one would need you to go to your obstetrician and get treated so for more information about your menstrual disorders or your menstruation uh, we do have an obstetrician on board and you can call 0800 277 015 to set an appointment or you can also go online and set an appointment at rockethealth.shop.